Okay, should be a pretty short video. This is Ubuntu 22.04 and Inkscape. Uh, I don't know what version. Inkscape 1.1.2, most recent version that's downloadable or installable by apt. It is a pseudo apt install Inkscape variety on 22.04. This is Inkscape or Inkstitch 3.0.0. In a recent comment, this visitor to my YouTube channel said that they've installed they installed on Ubuntu the way that I suggested, and it's not working. So, after questions, what version, and then everything, running 22.04 Ubuntu. So I did a, a fresh install and params changes to a circle back to shape tool really doesn't do much at all just goes away so what's going on is when you run try to run params it just pops away ink stitch params boom gone nothing so the problem is it's uh it's something they know about and it's something they're working on this is Ubuntu 22.04. If we go to inkstitch.org and we go to, I think it's FAC. Web recording videos, common issues. Okay, right here, ink stitch dialog disappears after a few seconds. And that's that's exactly what's happening. It it not even a few seconds, it's really quick, but it just disappears. So what we're gonna try in this case is this command right here. And I'm just gonna I'm actually just gonna copy that command that use that command to start Inkscape. So we're in terminal. I'm just gonna paste I have pasted that command I'm gonna hit enter and Inkscape fires up I'm gonna hit new document so it's running click that button and let's see we're going to go we're gonna go ahead and and make a a little something I hit the wrong button I want that button so we're gonna do that we're gonna go fill no fill stroke give me stroke stroke style Let's go three mil back to my that tool and inkscape satin convert line to satin and every single time the first time I run that it doesn't do anything and I go right back in and run it again it says it can't it doesn't know how to do anything with that object right back in to do it again and it works just fine I'm not sure what that's about okay so we have our, our thing here. I'm going to go to extensions, ink stitch, params. Now the params is working. It is a Wayland issue. And it's something that they're working on. It's something to do with making it, making it full electron app, I think is what it said. But, and it's in that, where I copied and pasted that ink stitch dot org. Go into Linux, and if you scroll down far enough, you see some of the problems they know about, and that's one of them. Start with that command line and run. Now, the other question is, I know that I've said it in another video before, there is a problem with the lettering tool on Linux with version 3.0.0. I'm not running 3.0.0 right now because of that. They're, if you look at their most recent fixings they're fixing a lot of bugs so they are busy right now and god help them for sure so if i go into lettering tools does the lettering tool work the output from the extension could not be parsed so this is the thing that i posted a bug report about and got a fix to so what we're going to do is we're going to go back into i don't think it's here nope what we need to do is go to the GitHub, the GitHub page. So I'm just going to do GitHub Inkstitch 
and let whatever search engine you're using find it. It's going to find it right here's GitHub. We're going to go to this very first one here. That's the one we want under issues and we're going to select closed. And you can scroll down to uh, right here, version 3.0.0. I am going to link this in the description of this video so you don't have to do this search. But if I click right here, um, there's, my, there's my bug report. And if I scroll down here, right here she says, Colleen says, try this and see if it works, which it does. So I'm going to click that. And you come in here and right there's your .deb for Ubuntu. Click that, download it. I've downloaded it once prior, so I've got two now. But we're going to back out of that. We're going to close Inkscape. And then we're from terminal right here. We're in terminal. I'm going to remove the prior ink stitch. And that's as simple as sudo apt remove ink stitch. Do you want to remove it? Yes, I do. Now go into the files, downloads. When you, uh, when you have a .deb in Ubuntu, apparently the, in, the uh, installer program is not default. Which one of these is number two? Number one, rather. That one. I'm going to delete that one. That's a duplicate copy. So when you come in here, if you hit click properties and open with, archive manager is set as default. So what that means is if you right click, it says open with archive manager. You don't want that. You want open with the other application and you want software install. You can change that by selecting properties open with and then select software install and then set as default. Now, when you right click on a .deb, the very first option that shows up is open with software install. So that's what I'm going to do. So open with software install on that clean trial and error. Then you, you'll still have to you'll still have to start Inkscape with that command line until they get it fixed. You can also change your shortcut. I am not sure how to do that. Especially in here. Okay, Ink Stitch is now installed. So we're going to go back to terminal. And I'm just going to up button until I get back to the export GDK back in X11. And and Inkscape. I'm going to hit enter. There's my Inkscape. Inkscape is ready. I'm going to click on that. There's only one running. Yes, there is only one running. I'm going to create a shape. No fill. Give me a stroke. Stroke style. Four. Um, and watch. It'll do that. It'll do that. Uh, I don't know how to do, do anything with this object again. Convert line to satin. Can't do anything with that object. Extensions, ink stitch, satin, convert line to satin. I think it only does it once. When you first start the program, it won't do it every time on every object. It only does it once. So now we have a, something to mess with. I'm going to go extensions, ink stitch, params. There's our params. Now we're going to go to extensions, ink stitch, lettering. And there's our lettering tool. So everything's working now. Except Inkscape is not responding. Hit apply and quit. Okay. That was a temporary thing. It was confused. So there's my satin stitch from the lettering tool. As far as I can tell, I haven't tested everything, but as far as I can tell, these two fixes are currently working in Ubuntu 22.04, probably other Linuxes as well. So if you have this same trouble, that command line will also work, or that command line startup should also work in any Linux that you're having that same problem with. In an OpenSUSE running Wayland, I am not getting that error, and I do not have to start it with the terminal. I don't know if it's because it's an older version of Ubuntu or if Ubuntu is running X and Inkscape is trying to run it. Well, I, I don't know. 
But anyway, there's your fix. Everything's working with a couple minor workarounds, but it's working. And they are working on it, and we should get a fix pretty soon. So there you have it. And, you know, as always, until next time, thanks for watching.